We're really privileged and we're going to get to train a little bit after hours because we all had a really busy day and Dylan wants to make sure that we get to shoot the content we need. So, but um, yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of light legs today. Today will be kind of like my last official leg day and just count down the days. I've never been so excited. <laughs> so focused. Get ready. Actually, this morning I woke up and I could have slept in for another hour, but I was literally so excited to wake up because there's so many exciting things going on right now and I'm, I'm so focused. I've never ever been this focused. Um, the amount of people that come up to me at the gym that I don't even know that I've never spoken to, they're like, hey, like I don't even know you, but your focus and your eyes is just is outstanding and I've never seen you this driven. And when you when you have done absolutely everything that you need to do for yourself to be successful in whatever you're trying to be successful in, you wake up hung, more hungry and hungry for it. Well, uh, here we are. Um, Tuesday was really nice to have everybody in town to be able to capture these final days leading up to the competition. Um, it's definitely going to be a very special year for me and I know that you guys, um, I've kept, kept saying that in the off season and now you guys are seeing that I'm delivering on what I've been saying and so far, I mean, I'm so happy. Like this has been the most easy prep and it's been very, um, very different. The focus has been different and I think uh, that's mainly why I am where I am today and the off season was taken 100% dedicated just like a prep would have been, which typically that wasn't the scenario for me. So now that we've changed that up, I mean things have, are really heating up and I'm super excited and I just can't wait to share with you guys, you know, everything I've been through. I've, these last, um, these last, this last week I think it's really important for me to continue what I've been doing and just, you know, kind of shut out myself from the world when I need to and I think that's the best way I respond and so I'm going to continue doing that so right now everything's just kind of up in the air it's like I'm resting when I can working when I can and making sure that I'm doing everything for myself to be at my best Social media I think is a wonderful thing if it's used in the right way and um, yeah I never thought I would post a video and that would be reaching 7 million views right now and it went viral and um, you know I was telling the guys that like yeah it's kind of you kind of feel vulnerable it's a very different feeling but um, you know you control your environment and you know Instagram does a great job of different privacy settings but you definitely have to be a lot more aware and you know of your surroundings because a lot more you're getting exposed to tons of more people so um, you know it's honestly it's been very motivating as well it's been I'm, I'm very grateful and it's you know really kept me busy these last this last week and a half now and and like I said it's, it is motivating in a way that's for sure typical typical Meg trying to get me some Um, yeah, Brett and I had originally planned to be at the exact same show the same weekend, but um, it just worked out that I will be competing uh, three weekends or two weekends before him. Uh, but I said this on an interview recently, the best thing for our relationship, for our marriage, for everything to function at 100% like it has, like we don't even know that we're dieting. I mean, that's incredible. And even these like final stretch days, they've just been so fun because um, we've had a really good prep together and we do a lot better when both people are prepping. I mean, it's just the accountability of each other and it's also a lot easier when Brett's not eating, you know, 
pancakes before bed every night or whatever, random cinnamon something with raisins. It's been pretty easy. <laughs> When you have done absolutely everything that you need to do for yourself to be successful in whatever you're trying to be successful in, you wake up hung more hungry and hungry for it. Like, yeah, there's been days where a lot of athletes, if they were in the right mindset, they would have not survived the days that I've survived in the last month. And they've been very challenging with work, with other, you're still maintaining a balanced life because that's, that's my overall goal. So, um, just to know that everything that I, all the effort that I put in, I can enjoy these last two weeks. I'm just so happy. I'm not stressed out. I'm not wondering, am I lean enough here? Am I gonna be, can I be better here? Like, there's none of that anymore. That's over. It, these last two weeks seem to be of just pure enjoyment and rejoicing yourself for all the things that you've done and accomplished. And I was telling my clients the other day, this was the first time, and you guys aren't gonna believe this, that it, I was in the posing room and I was looking at myself and I started crying because I felt proud of myself. And a lot of you guys are like, oh wow, how can you say that? You've accomplished this. That's what I was after. It took a long time, mentally and physically. And I have finally found that. And it's like no one can step in the way of your happiness when you have that. When you have that totally solidified and you have worked so hard for those things, no one can take them away because they come from pure hard work. So I'm, I'm happy. I can't wait. And you know, to have such a great team behind me is also key. That is the biggest key. A lot of people throw themselves at everyone all around thinking that that's the best way to go. Get everyone's opinions, do this, do that, you know, new friendships. Like, no, like I'm sticking to the things that matter to me the most and the people that have been there beside me in the last years and, you know, and no new friendships in the last three months. Just been solely focusing on the people around me because that's when distractions do happen and especially for me. And um, so that's been, that's been one thing that has been very different this prep is I really focused on, all right, this is, this is my little box and I'm not gonna step out of it.